Hey guys, it's Gem. I am back playing Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Uh, when we last left off, we had entered the Sacred Realm after collecting the three spiritual stones. We are now an adult. We have met Sheik. And Sheik has suggested that we should go to the Forest Temple and seek out our friend Saria. But I think first we need to go to Kakariko Village again. And find a very specific tool. So let's do that. And first we gotta go through Castle Town. Which is not aged well. I mean, not that literally, because... I mean, it's a pretty old game, but like it still looks fantastic for what it was. Uh, I just mean that it's it's all destroyed and stuff. And there's redeads everywhere, and I don't like redeads. Oh, don't! Oh no 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 no! All right, we're in Kakariko. Things have changed a little. Everyone who survived Castle Town has fled here. People are some people are older. Within limits. Lane. There are new shops that weren't here before, like the bazaar is here and the potion shop. And this house has been built. So one interesting thing is we can now go inside the gravekeeper's hut. The gravekeeper's diary is here. Do you want to read it? Yes. Whoever reads this, please enter my grave. I will let you have the stretching, shrinking keepsake. I'm waiting for you. Okay. So if I recall correctly... Ooh. This is his grave. We're in question mark? Ha ha ha, young man, are you fast on your feet? I may not look like it, but I'm confident in my speed. Let's have a race. Follow me if you dare. Well, this is appropriate for spooky season. Ghost racing. The Wii U remote is really not the best controller for this game. Ugh. The time of the race was 1 minute and 15 seconds. Ah, young man, you were very quick to be able to keep up with me. Hee hee hee. As a reward, I'm going to give you my treasure. It's called the Hook Shot. Its spring-loaded chain will pull you to any spot where a hook sticks. Doesn't that sound cool? I'm sure it'll help you. I live here now, so come back again sometime. I'll give you something cool. One more thing. Be careful on your way back. <laughs> so I think you can come back and race him and get a piece of heart. Found the hook shot. Hey. Um. I messed that up. Piece of heart. You completed another heart container. Woohoo! All right. 
Let's make a paradox. Grrr. I'll never forget what happened on that day seven years ago. Grrr. It's all the Ocarina Kid's fault. Next time he comes around here, I'm gonna mess him up. What? You've got an Ocarina. What the heck? That reminds me of that time seven years ago. Back then, a mean kid came here and played a strange song. It messed up this windmill. I'll never forget the song. Learn the Song of Storms. Oh no, a storm again. You played the ocarina again, didn't you, girl? And it just goes crazy. <laughs> I can actually start a side quest here, so I'm gonna do that real quick. I read a new type of miniature cuckoo. I call it Pocket Cuckoo. I don't get goosebumps from this baby. Cuckoos are very good at getting lazy late risers out of bed. Haven't you heard of them before? It makes them very happy to crow. Cuckoo! Especially when it wakes up a very heavy sleeper. However, my cuckoo is not entirely happy right now. You, you look like you're good at handling cuckoos. Here, take this egg. After the cuckoo hatches, bring it back to me after a while, and I'll check out its mood. What do you think? Will you try? Borrowed a pocket egg. Alright, well, let's head on to the forest temple. We will be coming back to Kakariko Village many more times. So I'm not going to worry about that particular part of the side quest right now. And. I'm gonna head straight to the forest, I think. Alright, we are gonna enter the Kokiri Forest now. Oh. Oh, it's a good thing I got another one. Again. <laughs> Seems that there's a lot of enemies here. Seems these last seven years haven't been very good to the Kokiri either. Not just the uh, Castle Town and Akariko Village that changed. Same premise as the last time we came. Follow the music. Or don't follow the music. In my case. What are you? Though you wear kokirish clothing, you can't fool me. I promised Saria I would never let anybody go through here. Oh, it's a good thing we know Saria, although I don't remember the song. Down, right, left. Thank you. 
That melody? Saria plays that song all the time. You. Do you know Saria? That song. Saria taught that song only to her friends. Okay, I trust you. When I see you, I don't know why, but I remember him. Alright, see you, bud. From here on, we'll be going through some narrow passages. If you take it slow, maybe you can sneak up on some of the enemies. That actually scared me. <laughs> Wasn't expecting him to be there. <laughs> oh no. Walking backwards. Just got the big dude. And I ran right into it. <laughs> I remember being so surprised that this was like the only instances of moblins. Um, in this game, just because they had been like so prevalent in the older games, and they weren't really in the uh, the sixty four era games that much. Hey, Sheik, how's it going, dude? The flow of time is always cruel. Its speed seems different for each person. But no one can change it. A thing that doesn't change with time is memory of younger days. In order to come back here again, play the Minuet of Forest.
you have learned the minuet of the forest. And yes, I know I added an extra of them there, but uh, I feel it sounds better. Jim, I'll see you again. See you, bud. You learn well from Impa. Oh, I always forget it's inverted. I love the music of this game. Like, I just love it. Also, I don't know why, but there's a Linkin Park, um, like, instrumental song. I think it's Sessions 09. Every time I hear it, there's, like, this part in the middle, and it always reminds me of this dungeon. I'm not sure why, because, like, I think... I don't think they're actually that similar, but it's just something about, I guess, because it's like the type of flute they use in the song. It's just very reminiscent of the vibe they gave this dungeon. I'll um, put a card up in the corner. Yeah, I, I don't know. This is one of my favorite dungeons just because... There's something about it, like, it feels like it could have... I think I talked about this in an older video, oh, in another video, where, like... I don't know if it was this series, or maybe... Uh, Final Fantasy IV? Right, like... Just the way they built older game levels... Versus how they built them now? Like... If you look at even Twilight Princess, which is like um the gamecube ocarina of time basically uh and i say that just because like the storyline's very similar <laughs> and the art style and everything um my uh headphones keep falling out um like, when you go into Hyrule Castle, or, like, the Snow Peak dungeon, like, they literally look like people have been living there. And this is re the really the only dungeon that feels like that for this game. Anyways. I don't know, I like... I like... Like, the dungeons are cool, I just like when it feels like... Life happened here. There's the Poe sisters. Stealing my fire. Okay. Can I remember? Not there. I don't quite remember this, the order of everything. It's actually been a while since I've played this last.
I have a fairy. I'm a little out of practice. There's also very conveniently a fairy fountain nearby. That was actually not what I meant, but that was convenient. <laughs> This one, I think I need the bow and arrow. Go there. But that leaves the stone, and there's a key door. A locked door. painted on the floor. Yeah, that's the new normal, Navi. Like, come on. It's just, we all gotta do our part for social distancing. All I can hear is those stupid skulls. They're so annoying. That actually scared me, I don't know why. <laughs> this corridor is all twisted. I do think this was a really cool effect they did. Watch for the shadows of the monsters that hang from the ceiling. Stupid wall masters. Oh, I've missed a key somewhere. Damn it. Alright, I'll uh, go find that key and get back to it. So I managed to make it past the spider. <laughs> Yay, dungeon map.
So I think that glowing or the green area there is for the uh, scarecrow. Hey, dude. I remember always thinking that he was saying, oh shit. <laughs> Alright, so this gets me my missing key. I don't know why I always <laughs> I thought I needed the bow and arrow to get this, because I didn't. I don't know, maybe I was able to kill it with the hook shot, but I don't know, I just kind of like ran past it. Timed really fast. Wait until it was turned away. Alright, so I'm gonna just get back to where we were. Alright, we're back to the twisty tunnel. This time, with a key. So there's our first Poe sister, but we can't get her. Can you not? One shot away. Oh. Um. Excuse me. Little buggers. Found the fairy bow. Oh, 
Okay, now we can deal with the sister. Forgetting my, uh, button bindings. And the compass, finally. <laughs> Alright, let's grab these. And then I'm just gonna go back, because there's the other sister on the other side of this room. And that's two. I think this is the right way. If it's not, I'll cut back. But I mean, I do have a key, so she'll let me go. 
All right. Watch out for the shadows, for the monsters that hang from the ceiling. So, same idea. So this one is straight. Oh, I did go the wrong way. So we straighten it out. And now we can get this chest. And we got the boss key. Alright, time to go collect some stuff. I'll uh, cut out the unnecessary bits. That was it. Just forgot to jump in the hole. Maybe wall masters. Pretty sure this game fueled a lot of nightmares as a child.
Yeah, at least I got that key I was looking for. I was incredibly lucky. Right, finally back. And now this one's twisty. chest is worth it. anything important in it. I mean, there's the sculpture, but I don't really care that much.
Damn it, Navi, why do you scare me so much? Gem, watch out, the ceiling is falling down. The sky is falling, the sky is falling! Ah, uh, chicken little. Might have to redo it. actually really helped me because like the meanest part was that they had put the the wrong one in the middle so yeah We made her cry. We are awful people. Um, so she spins. So she creates like the copies of herself. And the real one is the one that does like an extra spin. 
that's how I can tell who it is. I always thought this room was really great concept too. Um, like you shift the room around, different openings. the last switch. Now it's time to head on to the boss. We have our boss key. Got the boss door. Let's do it. out of Link's Nightmare. So essentially, I'm looking for him coming out of the paintings, and then when he comes out, shoot him. Oh. And if I'm too slow, he electrocutes me. I don't remember ever having this much difficulty with this. Like, why? Why am I failing so hard? Hey kid, you did quite well. Looks like you may be gaining some slight skill. But you have defeated only my phantom. When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. What a worthless creation that ghost was. I will banish it to the gap between dimensions. That is not how you treat your employees.
Chamber of the Sages. Gloria! Thank you. Because of you, I could awaken as a sage. I am Saria, the sage of the forest temple. I always believed that you would come because I know you. No. You don't have to explain it to me. Because it is destiny that you and I can't live in the same world. I will stay here as the forest sage and help you. Now please, take this medallion. You receive the forest medallion. Saria awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. Saria will always be your friend. tree sprout because you and saria broke the curse on the forest temple i can grow and flourish thanks a lot hey have you seen your old friends none of them recognized you with your grown-up body did they that's because kokiri never grow up even after seven years they're still kids you must be wondering why only you have grown up. Well, as you might have already guessed, you're not a Kokiri. You're actually a Hylian. I am happy to finally reveal this secret to you. Some time ago, before the King of Hyrule unified this country, there was a fierce war in our world. One day, to escape from the fires of the war, a Hylian mother and her baby boy entered this forbidden forest. The mother was gravely injured. Her only choice was to entrust the child to the Deku Tree, the guardian spirit of the forest. The Deku Tree could sense that this was a child of destiny whose fate could... Ugh whose fate would affect the entire world, so he took him into the forest. After the mother passed away, the baby was raised as a Kokiri, and now, finally, the day of destiny has come. You are a Hylian, and were always bound to leave this forest. And now, you have learned your own destiny, so you know what you must do. That's right. You must save the land of Hyrule. Now, Jem, break the curses on all the temples and return peace to Hyrule. <laughs> Alright, so we did the forest temple. Broke the cursed. Awoke Saria as a sage. And the Deku tree is now growing again. So I think that's a fair job for today. <laughs> So I'm going to leave it there, and in the next, we are going to go back to Death Mountain, because the this part also follows the first part, in that you start with the Kokiri, then you go to the Gorons, and then you go to the Zoras, and then after that, let's see. All right. Well, if you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!